자, 오늘 또 후디 계시다. 하루 일사니, 하루 일사리, 조르가니 탑도들, 난 태어니 태일게. 아, 오늘 후디 배워. 고수들 힘을 힘치게 줬지, 어떤 저도 그 둘도 들었으니 네가 엠튼 거에 대다 설치다 대 오늘 들어도 이렇게. 자, 대 야스타 고런 다 설치인 힘은 비야 할다 같아. 허리도 고로도 들어도 나올 때는 그때 나올 때다 설치인 다 뜯어 놓을 때 정확할 때인 거죠. 자. 자, 이제 등 비야 할지. 이게 답변 좀 비야 할지. 
Let's do one. See what that is. Let me find out. Can feel working. RDL, Romanian deadlifts. And you guys are probably pretty familiar with this exercise at this point. We've done quite a few of them uh, throughout this program. They're excellent exercises. Really engaged the posterior chain there. Hamstring glutes. And uh, we're going a bit heavier this time with these. You can see the 80 pounds. I'm um, going to keep the 12 repetitions, but uh, just like we explained in the past, you really want to keep your toes pointed forward at all times. Try not to let them flare out too much. Um, and then what you're going to be doing is just gliding the dumbbells along the thighs, creating that nice uh, stretch, you know, stretch reflex in the hamstring. And once you reach that position, you're going to close to the ridge, you're not extending the hips top position, nice and the glutes, and then returning uh, down to that fourth position after you reach the top position. Now, you do want to keep a nice straight ridge back at all times. What's going to help with this, try to arch your lower back. And that's really going to bring more stretch in the hamstrings, create more stretch in there, but also it will always contain and uh, create that nice straight back. So we're going to pop the TVs out. So starting position here, and you're going to slowly let it down. Push the chin, feel that stretch. You're going to have to stop positioning before you definitely test the grip strength too, holding those. You want to keep a nice tight grip. You'll feel it in there, but it'll help out too so you don't. Dumbbells don't want to roll out of your hands. You can always use straps too if you really start leaning to grip. Uh, so that can help sometimes. You know, the grip can hold you back at times if your grip's failing, but the main muscle you're trying to work isn't really getting a lot of the work it should be in the exercise. So it's going to put straps on top of that a little bit. Now we get the full benefit of the exercise. On to the fourth exercise, and this is going to be the jumping Bulgarian split squat. So it is more of a plyometric type exercise here. Um, and We've talked about Bulgarian split squats in the past, I believe. And what you're doing is just elevating one foot back on the bench and you're kicking the other out in front of you. So once you're in this position, it's much like a lunge. So once you come down and then reach this position here, you're going to feel a nice stretch in the squat in this position. And then the one that's out and contracting, pushing off, you're going to feel the glute. So, and turn it. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the the hamstring and also the quad. The farther you go out, the more stretch you can feel in the hamstring and the quad in this position. But what you want to do is get a nice kind of a comfortable position with this over here. So when you bring it down, the toe's not coming too much far over the toe, hanging up the heel, what you want to do is keep the, the pressure right in the foot there. Uh, but of course, in this case, we're going to be jumping with it too. So once you're in this position, you're going to be supposed to be left off and jump. You're going to get a little bit of that cap work too. And you want to catch yourself down. So you're accelerating and then decelerating down just like so. So it's creating a little bit extra work in there, a bit more difficulty. Try to create balance there too. Um, so once you reach one side, you can go right to the next. Switch legs and uh, take it down. So you get the good positioning set up and then jump. Just like so. Get a little bit more fluid motion. Keep that tension there. Oh, yeah. That's how it's burning real quick. Of course, you can add weight if you want. You can add it. A bit more difficulty in there. A little bit more heavy, but it is going to be lowering your center of gravity. So in some cases, it could make it a little bit more stable in some ways. Uh, so you can hold the pedals here. Jump back down. Oh, yeah. But for now, you're going to get a leg rest because that much just fell. So I'm getting a little bit fatigued. A little break, and we're going on to the next set. Go to these quads really quick. Here we go. Next exercise is going to be the line. Hamstring curls. Now, you might be thinking, well, how are you supposed to be doing that with a dumbbell? Usually it's machine work or maybe table, but with a dumbbell, it is possible. Your range of motion is slightly shortened a bit, uh, but you still get a really good stretch in the hamstrings and good contraction, so you're isolating uh, the hamstrings there. And we're going to be doing it in two different positions. One, we're going to start on a bench, so it's a bit elevated, and uh, it can help to have someone there to place the dumbbell um, in your feet here. So this is the position, the starting position, to get a nice stretch in the hamstrings. And you're just going to be curling it, tap position here, nice squeeze, and then back down. And you can point your toes as well. Get a nice stretch. 
to track up this hot dish and squeeze, almost like a bicep curl when you put the foot to the legs. Not surprisingly, it gets somewhat difficult. We are taking it pretty light here just for the sake of showing how to do it, but if you go a bit heavier, or even stay a bit lighter, and you maintain that really slow and controlled movement, you can really feel that burn in the hamstring because with this one, of course, you isolate the movement, you're only utilizing one joint. Uh, so you don't really ever want to go too heavy anyways, but something like this, you might take some of the a little bit, uh, make sure the pace or the tempo is a bit slow, really control the eccentric, and you really feel these really well. muscles. You're going to do it. Uh, so it's pretty crazy. What you can do with dumbbells on pretty much almost any exercise uh, can be done with this paradigm. It's pretty awesome. So you've got the bearings. Oh. Yeah. 
يسنات راح about what i wish they had taught me in school تايت نو نام نام تسمع تا تغلط I've made a lot of mistakes. What's going on guys? This is Vince with vshred.com and today I'm going to show you seven killer leg exercises using just dumbbells. Next exercise is a bent leg. 
big kickback. This one is going to be great for the glutes and the hamstrings. We all know what the kickbacks are. Sit down on all fours, and you usually just take your foot and you pull it back. But instead of straightening your leg like this, what we're going to do is we're going to bend it a little more. We're going to place a dumbbell right there in our knee, the back of our knee. Right there, we're going to squeeze down on that. And from here, we're going to keep that knee bent, and we're going to drive our heel up as we're trying to come back and touch our lower back with our heel. So there, back up like that. Here. Back up like that. Get a nice squeeze in your glutes, and you don't want to bring your knee down and rest here. You want to keep it contracted, squeeze up, back down. As soon as you're back down, contract again. Just like that. And make sure you do it in your place. Alright, next exercise. I know it's weird when you're laying down now, but really, this is going to be kind of the starting position. We're going to be doing a dumbbell hamstring curl, so I'm sure you all know what ah. hamstring curls are. Basically, you just load up and you curl up just like that. So you see that dumbbell down by my feet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hook that dumbbell with my feet. And then from here, my starting position is going to be as low as I can lower it. I'm going to squeeze up just like that. And I'm going to go back down, making sure that I'm getting the full stretch of my hamstrings. And then what you want to really be careful of is when you go up, that you're not just kind of bringing it up right here to where your your lower leg is completely perpendicular to the ground, meaning that you're not causing any kind of tension in your hamstrings right here. So you actually want to stop right about here. You're going to lower it down just before it touches the ground, getting the stretch up to there and back down. This is going to be a full range of motion. It's not going to be very long, but it's going to work your hamstrings nice and right. All right, next up we have hinge squat. Yeah. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what Now, the reason these are called hinge squats is because the entire time we're going to be emphasizing a hip hinge, which basically just means when you're doing a squat, you squat down. But the reason that you're not, your body's not going back is because you are hinging at the hips. You are bending over. That's a hip hinge right there. When you lean forward, if you're taking a step onto something, you hip hinge forward so that you, keep, so that you stay balanced. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a dumbbell right here. And we're going to get into a squat position, but the first thing that we're going to do is actually hinge over, just like this. So this is going to be the starting position with your legs straight. From here, what you're going to do is stay in that hinged position, but you're going to squat down until your legs are at 90 degrees, and then you're going to straighten your legs back out, keeping that hip hinge. So you're going to stay bent over. So it's going to look just like this. Making sure that you're keeping all the pressure through the heels of your feet. And when you straighten your legs, you're feeling a nice stretch in the backs of your legs, going down, stretching, pushing through the ground with your heels, just like this. All right, and the final exercise is going to be a dumbbell step up. So I know I said that you only need dumbbells, but you do need something to step up onto, but even if you are working out at home, I don't think this is that uh, crazy to call for it. Uh, you can get a chair, you can use a couch if you want, you can use a bed if you want, you can use maybe a low bench or something. Uh, just anything, usually most people have chairs. Um, or you can, if you're at a gym, you can get something like a step up. So what you're going to do is you're just going to grab both dumbbells here, and then the whole emphasis of a step up is going to be the quads. So that doesn't mean that you're going to put all your pressure in your toes, but it does mean that you're going to try to put equal pressure between your heel and the balls of your feet. So equal pressure here, you're going to step up, ah. so you're going to hip hinge, and then as you step up, as you step up, you're going to squeeze through, step back with the same foot. You're going to hip hinge, and make sure your feet, your, the pressure is equal through the balls of your feet and your heel. Step up, squeeze, step down with the same foot. Switch feet, step up, squeeze, down with the same foot. Step up, squeeze, down with the same foot. So there you 
you have it, seven awesome leg exercises that you can do using only dumbbells and a step up, some kind of chair. I uh, hope you guys like this video. If you're looking for more videos just like this, where you're learning the different tips and tricks in the gym, you're giving different exercises for each body group, you're given a new meal plan every month, a new training plan every month. I do have a membership site, it's called The Straight University. You're given new updated monthly plans based off of your body type every single month, automated, just for you. Then you're given new content, new Q&As from me, Q&As from our trainers, um, content for in the gym tricks, in the kitchen tricks, new recipes, new supplement advice, Whatever you need, it's in there. And what's awesome is that it only costs you a dollar. Just a dollar, you can find dollars on the ground. That's how much it costs. And you can check that out by clicking the link in the description right below this video. Other than that, if you guys like these different exercises, uh, please just click that thumbs up below that lets me know that you like these type of topics. That way I can keep making topics like this. Other than that, if you guys have any comments about the video, questions about the video, ah. exercises, or video topics that you guys cover, leave them in the comments. Make sure you are hitting that subscribe button and the little notification bell right next to the subscribe button. That is equally as important. That way you actually get notified when I post a new video. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. You know, I've learned a lot of things in my life. About making money, about business, about what I wish they taught me in school. I made a lot of mistakes. And uh, let me say for a decade of your life, and let me tell you this, there's basically four things you have to learn. Health, wealth, love, and happiness. Now, the one that's hard for most people, believe it or not, I am with Iman here, and we are going to be going through a lower body workout using dumbbells. All right, so we're, going to up. we're getting ready to have some fun. Uh, so we got a couple things written down of what we're going to be doing for a lower body workout. All dumbbells. We got a couple different circuits. And I'll tell you exactly what we're doing here in just a moment. But we're going to warm up. We're getting those glutes ready. We're getting those thighs ready. Cross the leg. Get those hips stretched out. So what we're going to be doing is all dumbbell work all the time for the next uh, for the next workout. All right, so if you want to do some straight leg kicks, now if you don't have access to like a turf like we have here, get on the treadmill, get on the elliptical, get on the stair stepper, get on the rower, do some basic dynamic moves. You don't have to walk like we're doing. I like doing some skips to get the legs primed, ready to go. So just like nice little cherry pickers. Because what we're going to be doing is we got some dynamic movement coming up. Uh, we'll pick up the intensity. We'll do some side shuffle. Same thing on the way back. Oh. A little off. Alright, same thing on the way back. Time is so chan. Yes, sir. Lower body workout, all dumbbell. And so I'll take it today. Stretch.
So the answer to the question that multiple people have asked me in the last 24 hours is, will I extend the Black Friday cyber? New videos every day. Life, wisdom. Hi, this is Donnie, and today I'm going to go through a warm-up stretch video with you, and you can use this either before or after your workout to cool down and kind of release tension in your muscles, or just walk through this video a few times a week with me, and you can increase your flexibility. And today I have Karina here with me, and she's going to do the beginner modifications of the advanced moves that I'm going to do with you. So I'm going to start out by stretching the head and neck muscles, so just go forward and back, like this, just forward. Forward and back. One more time. Forward and back. And we're going to go left to right. So left to right. You can feel it all along the side of your neck right here. Go left to right. Two more times. Left to right. Last time. Left to right. Okay, now I'm going to go and go ahead and warm up your shoulders, so just go ahead and roll backwards, just like this, just to loosen them up, a few more times, just to release all the tension in your shoulders, and then go ahead and roll forward now, so just roll forward just like this, and then in this next stretch, just go ahead and take your hands and put them on your knee, and put all the tension or all the weight in your knee into your hands. So you're kind of getting a stretch right in this area and just push into your knee. It should feel like a pretty deep stretch. So just go ahead and hold that for a few more seconds. And then release. We're gonna do the other side. And if you're getting too much stretch, just make sure not to put all your weight into your hands. And then go ahead and release. Now we're gonna do some side to side. Rib isolations like this. Just side, 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 just back and forth. Just isolating those ribs and kind of getting a stretch all along your side a little bit. Then we're going to do some back and forth, front and back rib isolations like this. So front and back, and front, contract, front, contract, front, contract, and go side to side. So that should just get your blood going. And now we're going to stretch all the way to the left. And Karina's going to show the beginner's modification of this. So just go ahead and put your hand right above your knee. And for a deeper stretch, just fall along with me and put your hand like this. And then go into a flat back. And then all the way down to the ground. And take a few bends right there. So bend. And stretch and bend and stretch and go to the center and then take a few plies there as well so bend and stretch bend and stretch and go over to the other side and then take a flat back right there and go again another time and then take that deep stretch over as far as you can then into a flat back, then down to your feet. And if that's too hard to touch your feet, it's okay to go further up your leg. Then take a few plies again, bend and stretch, bend and stretch, and back to the center, bend and stretch, bend and stretch, and over to the other side. Back up, back to the center, and then we're going to do the other direction, so go this way, and go into a flat back, and then down all the way to the ground, or as far as you can go, and go ahead and bend that left knee, bend and stretch, bend and stretch, back to the center, take two more bends. Bend and stretch to the other side. Come back up. We're going to take one more time. Go all the way down. 
Two more bends. Back to the center. Two more. And we're coming back up. And the last stretch we're gonna do, we're gonna take our arms all the way down to our toes, or as far as you can go. And then wrap them around your ankles. And then go ahead and kind of arch like this and put all and push the back of your calves into your hands. So you're getting kind of stretch all along your shoulders and into your spine. If you're doing it right, this will be a pretty deep stretch. So just go ahead and push up like that. Right, for a few seconds. And then release and kind of shake it out. And shake it all the way up. If you ever watched my video and if you enjoyed this, be sure to stay tuned for part two where you work on the lower body and make sure to favorite it. Dang it. Toss chain. Kutungoro. Then some other arm will be made. Dang it. I'm going to jump in front of the front. I'm going to see it. I'm going to see it. Чем вы будете чай? А чем вы будете чай? Не скажите, что вы будете чай? Чем вы будете чай? Там же, что вы будете чай? Я считаю, что я их код буря, он третий. Хитчер бьет. Я хотел, он кумбит. Теме. Их код я вас. 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 Ты вызываешь, что это? Это не бельта.